Okay, so what is ODP? My little thingy says ODP on it. Ozone depletion potential. That's what it means. Back in the 70s, there was some computer testing that determined that certain chemicals have what's called an ozone depletion potential. And among these chemicals was R12 or refrigerant 12. And what they would do, and I'll do another video on how specifically this works, but the chlorine in the refrigerant caused a depletion of the ozone layer in, uh, let's see, above the stratosphere or whatever. Uh, anyway, way up there. Uh, it's a very thin layer of ozone, which ozone is O3, oxygen is O2, ozone is O3. Uh, it's actually made up there from sunlight coming through. As sunlight comes through, it makes O3, uh, which is ozone, and ozone is not a real stable uh, chemical. It changes pretty quickly back into oxygen. Not going to go too deep into that right now. But it was found by these uh, computer comparisons that the refrigerants that we were commonly using, such as R12, probably the most popular refrigerant out there, had a very high rate of destruction of ozone. And if the ozone is destroyed, we get a lot more ultraviolet radiation. These people kind of came out and says, well, you know, we think this is happening, but we're not really sure because we haven't really tested. So as kind of a precaution, we started reducing our use of things like R12. R12 was very common as a propellant in uh, spray cans. And we stopped using that, I can't remember exactly when, but that was some of the first things we stopped, was the use of it as a propellant. It was also an expanding agent for insulating foam, and we stopped using it there. It was eventually determined that the ozone was being depleted, and the likely cause was our increased use of R12, and other refrigerants that put chlorine up there and would uh, destroy the ozone layer. Okay, so R12 has an ozone depletion potential of one. That's the highest. Everything else is a percentage of, of one. So because it was one of the worst refrigerants for ozone depletion, then we stopped using it. I think 92, we stopped using it. Uh, I, sometimes I get the dates a little mixed up, but it's not really important because it's kind of ancient history now. So we stopped using it. There were some replacements for it and so on. I'll go into some of those later, but uh, ozone depletion potential was the reason we started changing refrigerants. And especially we stopped using R12, we also stopped using R11, R502, R500. Those were common ones that were CFCs, chlorinated fluorocarbons, that had the higher potentials of reducing the ozone. So those refrigerants are pretty much gone now. The CFCs are no longer used in hardly anything. Even halogen, the, the uh, fire extinguisher component, was a CFC. We don't use that anymore. So we've pretty much done, gotten rid of all those, and it's because of their ozone depletion potential. That's it on this one.